All right, so that's the morning fast the cardio done. Welcome to the video. Today, we'll be going through my full day eating, what I'm eating right now on a slight cut, so I'm about four to 500 calories below my maintenance right now. And been just a couple weeks on it, but this is what I eat. So breakfast, in my experience cutting, has always been my favorite meal of the day. And I like doing that because then it gives me some motivation or a little extra motivation to get up to my cardio and do my fasting cardio because I know I'm getting a good meal to eat afterwards. So with this guy, we'll get some eggs and cream of rice going. For cream of rice, I measure out a quarter cup and then just kind of eyeball the water. With cream of rice, it's all about cons the consistency of it because it's really not much flavor. I'll add in a little bit of protein. You guys will see in that. That makes it pretty good. But the rest is about consistency in order to make it not like concrete. What I do with it, and this, this might have been said on the box, but I'll put it in 90 seconds at first, stir it, and then take it out, stir it again so it doesn't like get hard in the middle. And I just cook it like 30 seconds, a couple times more until it's finished cooking. But each time I'm stirring it, so that way it's, it's fluffy and not like a, like a hard paste kind of thing. You know, that kind of tends to ruin breakfast pretty quickly. Get some eggs going. You guys will see me using this pretty much for every meal I cook on the stove at least throughout the day, whether I'm heating something up or cooking it from you know from raw. Uh, but just a little spray of avocado oil. I like the avocado oil because the burning point is a little bit higher than olive oil. And uh, the spray essentially zero calories. I don't bother tracking it just because it's it's a minimal amount of oil in there. So for the eggs. Now I have a feeling I'm gonna eat down in the comments for this because I remember in the past I have in the old full day eatings they would hate me for the Zach but I separate when I don't have like you know the cartons of liquid egg whites I separate out at least right now two whole eggs and then separate out four whites so you end up throwing the yolks away but you know what it's all right, because I feel like at one point, I don't know if I remember this correctly, but I remember looking up what they do with the yolks from like the egg white cartons, because if you're buying liquid egg whites, somewhere down the road, the yolks are getting separated, right? Mm -hmm. So I think they used it for like feed or uh, to send it to like, uh, what is it called? Like factories that make like desserts and stuff, because they use a lot of yolks. I don't know, check me on that guys, if you know where they put the yolks. But let's just say they send the yolks to factories that make our little Debbie brownies. Really doing the world a favor. You are. Throwing away, right? <laughs> Philanthropy, man. What can I say? Give back. <laughs> Alright, these are the whole eggs. What am I doing? So stir these up. Get the pan heated up. Might be a little eggshell in there, but that would not hurt. So I'm on this guy. So you can see what I mean? It kind of starts to get hard in the center there. If I were to just leave that in for two or three minutes, today is gonna be like a pasty rock, so. Stir that up, I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. Just cause I eyeballed wrong. And it's gonna go back in for 30. And then the key to enjoyable egg whites, kinda like the cream of rice, is to stir relatively continuously while they cook, otherwise, kind of turns into a strange omelet 
omelet, scrambled egg, hybrid. And just it. Drink the same. And I'll tell you what was funny too is uh, when I'm bulking, I'm, I'm like almost sick of food, so I really don't care as much how how it comes out. And then when I start to cut, I enjoy the taste of even simple things like scrambled eggs with a little bit of salt to the point where I really spend the time to get the cooking just right because I know there's only gonna be so many enjoyable moments throughout my day or week when it comes to food. Not that it's that bad, it's just enough motivation for me to put in the extra effort. This one, and this this might be my favorite single food I make during the day. It is the cream of rice. So the reason I use two different proteins is so it doesn't get too thick. Because the the vegan protein will make it a little bit thicker. Which if I just want more volume, I could do two scoops of the vegan and then add in some more water when I mix it all in. But this guy I like because this will mix in pretty well without a lot of water. Just their regular raw nutrition whey protein. Throw this in. I will say that the cinnamon cereal is pretty good. It doesn't get the most out of it when you mix it with cookies and cream. So a lot of times, I just ran out, but I'll do their, they have a uh, vanilla oatmeal cookie. Man, that, scoop of that, and then a scoop of the cookies and cream, that was money. But hold on, it looks still pretty good. So we got our whey protein in there. And this guy's a whey protein isolate too. And because it's the isolate and a little more refined versus like a whey concentrate, uh, and I myself am lactose intolerant, there's no lactose in that because it's a little more um, like purified than a whey concentrate. So I don't get any bloating, even though it is dairy based. Yeah, there's not much better than that. And then when I add on top, is a serving of sugar-free chocolate chips. These little guys are my jam. Just to give it a little extra, extra flavor. And typically I have this a meal or two before I train. So a little extra salt ain't bad for the pump either. But man, the salt on there, is it like a dark chocolate sea salt kind of feel? That's all you need. So this is meal one. I'll put the macros somewhere here on the screen if you guys are interested. For the proteins, or really any supplements you guys see in the video, I do work with these companies. I've been with Raw for about a year now. Honest, like, honestly, I would have to say it's some of the best formulated and highest quality supplements I know about and have tried. That's why I've been working with them um, and they kind of cover everything I need, which is nice. So everything's in one place, the quality is always great. Uh, so if you do, if you are shopping it, use code Merck. It'll save you a little bit of money and helps me out, supports the channel. So appreciate you guys. Those links are always below in the video. Other than that, I'm gonna finish this meal and then get in my vitamins for the day. All right, so this guy I would normally take every day. I just ran out uh, like two or three days ago, so I saved the bottle. Um, but this one's great. It's nervous system, muscular skeletal support, uh, especially training hard. It's a good one to get in consistently. But I've taken liver. <clears throat> they're multi-mineral, which is pretty much their comprehensive multivitamin, omega-3, joint support, probiotic, you get the, try to get a healthy gut, <clears throat> or keep my gut healthy, excuse me, and then vitamin D3, especially being here in Ohio, uh, and not seeing much sun, I know I need the D3. So some of these you'll see a little bit more than one pill. Typically this guy, which is seven. Uh, it's because they're actually dosed correctly. And then I take these after my first meal, just so my stomach's not upset. Throw a little something in there, because it is a fair amount of pills to be taken. And this liver, I had some problems with some of the levels in my liver when I had competed last, uh, which is why I'm, I'm still kind of taking my time with getting back to you know, actually prepping for a show and not just doing the cut. 
So this liver support has one, well, has a couple key ingredients, one specifically, NAC or N-acetylcysteine. So that helps clean things out, keep my AST, ALT levels in check. At this point, do I really need it? Probably not, my blood works good. But after that scare, I will gladly take it every day. Put those guys back up. There's one more. Now, to be honest with you, I don't always take this guy. Some mornings I do, some I don't. Um, it's the daily greens. Now, if I'm doing a good job getting in some fruit here and there, uh, some vegetables, just, just some stuff with some fiber, really, I won't take that. Um, but if, if I'm not, or maybe it's a day I'm like real low carb and I just want a little something extra to kind of fill me up, I'll take that because it's, I mean, that chocolate flavor is pretty good. It's similar to their chocolate protein. So I'll, I'll sip on that just to give myself something. Then I get the added benefit of the greens. Uh, but if I wasn't as balanced as I am with my diet, I'd make sure I was taking that every day too. Probably just mix it up. The days I take it, I'll even sometimes take it with my uh, my other vitamins and stuff just to make sure I take it and get it in versus not take it in the morning and then forgetting that day. <sighs> That's it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let this digest. I'll probably see you guys, well, I'll see you guys at the next meal, which will be pre-workout meal. Then I got legs today. So I'll, I don't know if I'll film much of the leg session. Maybe I'll bring my camera. Zach has other stuff to do than watch me train legs for two hours or so. So <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys at the next meal. It. This is meal two for the day. Uh, went with one cup of white rice. Now the rice I use is a frozen rice. I like this one. It's a little more convenient than boiling rice or setting up a rice cooker. But at the same time, that specific frozen rice, because it's a four cup bag, is actually cheaper than doing like the Uncle Ben's pouches, which I've done in the past. Uh, and then you get the added benefit of the only ingredient being rice since it comes frozen. They don't have to put anything in there to preserve it. So that, some meal prep chicken. This is a company I've been using for a little while. I don't work with them. Uh, the name is Hummus Fit. Uh, I'm in Ohio, so it's, I think they're based in New York. I don't know if they ship across the nation, but they do ship fresh, which is fresh, which is nice. And the chicken is one of the better deals I found. Great tasting, and it's only like 10 bucks or 10 50 a pound. So for cooked chicken, that's a pretty good price. If there's better prices, let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for good deals on bulk meats because if it's good, why not save a little bit? Um, and then just throwing on some regular, or I guess organic. That's what they had at the, the store when I was at Whole Foods last. Uh, but just some tomato ketchup. I try to use the sugar-free um, when I can. I think Heinz makes it, but uh, I mean this one, we got four grams of sugar if I use a whole tablespoon. So I'm okay with that right now. I'm not prepping for a show, so I'm not too concerned. That, we're good. Now, like as far as fiber and vegetables go, I like to do that later in the day after I train, because I'm gonna get this down and then probably in about 40 minutes or so, get to the gym, as in get to the gym in 40 minutes. So I don't want to have a full stomach. I like training for the most part when I feel like I've digested everything and just some white rice and chicken usually goes down pretty easily for me. Um, so I'm getting in third meal of the day, which is going to be a protein shake. I always go with one scoop of their creatine. So it's pure creatine monohydrate. One scoop is five grams. And then the vegan protein from this morning, cookies and cream. I just do two scoops of this guy. And then I just got my little shaker cup here with some gym water in it should do the trick and i just cleaned my car so i'm really not trying to 
have a protein powder mess go everywhere. So we're gonna be a little extra careful. Speaking of car, I gotta show you guys something. Cause I mean, honestly, you guys on this channel have seen this. This is my baby. Like, it's nothing crazy. It's the V6 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, I bought it a few years back, a couple years back now, because the car I was driving, if you guys remember, like, way back when I started, I was driving a little Nissan. But that was totaled one winter. So then I got this a little bit, a little bit before I was, like, ready. But, I mean, shoot, I just didn't know as much about cars. But did a few things to it in the last years, right? Anyway. Some people thought it'd be cute to uh, to try to to try to. They weren't trying to steal the car; they were trying to break in. But I really had nothing valuable. So if you could tell, let me get the ISO here. If you could tell, they jacked up the whole window because they pried this window open to try to get something out of the car. It was really probably just some young kids, whatever. But that's like uh, that's frustrating as heck because really uh i mean that's gonna take a minute because i gotta replace not just the window but i gotta replace like the like part of the door framing the outside like insurance will cover some of it but it's the hassle i'm not trying to lose my jeep for a week or two right now so we're gonna roll with the uh good old-fashioned duct tape on the window so that's the latest jeep mod you know just want to keep you guys updated So, kind of was munching on some blueberries while I made this one uh, because I looked in my fridge and I did not pick up any spinach or peas, which are usually my go-to as far as uh, getting some greens in during the day with these last couple of meals. So, that means I'm going to get a scoop of greens in to partially make up for it and <clears throat> at least one serving of fruit. So, today that serving... Is a couple blueberries. This thing I don't always use. It's kind of unnecessary, but when all the blender bottles are dirty, or I don't feel like getting another one dirty, this thing's pretty sick. So, comes in handy. What do you think, dude? Are you gonna like that? No. Right? Well, you might. I don't think the chocolate would be good, too good. Man, that's good. Like, honestly, you can taste the greens in it just a little bit. But I say, if you guys ever grew up having like, oh, what's that? What's that syrup? Is it Hershey? Yeah, like Hershey syrup and like warm milk for like a snack or something as a kid. Not very nutritious, but that's what that tastes like. And I always have enjoyed that, that flavor of chocolate. So they did a pretty good job with this one. So I'm gonna log this guy in. And this is what I do for every meal, even though I don't always show it. So what I do is I'll pull in, right? There's our 90-10 lean ground beef that I cooked up. Uh, I'm gonna have six ounces that you saw me measure out. Log item. Add in some more food. So we got the white rice, one cup. I'm sorry, this one was two cups. And then we get a cup of our blueberries. And finally, what's nice is typically I don't log this, but for the sake of the video, it is 75 calories. So I will. So I can pull up this barcode scanner. <clears throat> Come over here. Scan the barcode, and then just like that, it brings up the daily greens, put it in, and then money. Got the whole meal in just like that. And it's nice too, because it kind of displays the times. So that app is called Macroactive. 
No, I don't work with them. I just like them, so I use them. I, pay, I paid for it. I think it's like five or ten bucks. Um, but with the convenience of everything, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, and then that way, too, I'm not having to follow a really strict diet where if I go out of the diet, I feel like I'm going to miss my macros for the day. So doing something like that, I think is really useful if you want some flexibility with your diet. Uh, and there's a couple of them. That one's macroactive. I know my fitness pal, I've used for a while like that. And maybe we'll see. In the future, I'd like to add a feature like that into the app. So you guys who are following the app, following the training, and following the macros can also log everything. But that's a process. It's a pretty big database. But we'll see. We'll see. Long-term stuff. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. I actually shower because I was hungry. I had to stop at the store. Didn't shower before making this. I know, kind of gross, but I'm hungry, so I need to take care of that. And I'll see you guys at the last meal. All right. So this is the last meal of the day, if you want to call it a meal. It's kind of like a little snack. It's more like a little snack, to be honest. Um, so I do, this will be a little more useful. So in here is two servings of this guy, which is uh, lactose-free, 70 calorie, zero sugar, vanilla Greek yogurt. Uh, and one of my favorites, and one of the few that's zero sugar and lactose-free. Uh, so 13 grams of protein in a serving of this, which is three quarters cup. I do a cup and a half, so 140 calories. 26 grams of protein and uh, yeah good little snack mixes it up from like the chicken and beef because usually it's a lot of chicken if I don't cook beef and I'm having because I'm having higher carb then it's just all chicken to keep the proteins a little leaner throughout the day or in total for the day but this one's good sprinkle a little bit of oats on there of course those sugar-free dark chocolate chips mmm that's good Let's see, we'll add it in, finish off the day. Let's see where we're at. All right, that sounds about right. You're just under 2,600 calories for the day. And that breaks down to 252 grams of protein, 61 grams of fat, and 262 grams of carbs, which is great. Sugars, I should have kept pretty low throughout the day. Let's see here, 28 grams of sugar, so a little bit higher. Um, now, I didn't track the ketchup since I'm not that specific. At least right now this is what I'm looking at so get these nice daily totals and then it even breaks down the protein fats vitamins of course I didn't track these so that's a little bit irrelevant but still if, if I want to use it it's there which is nice and that's gonna conclude this full day of eating I'm shooting for right around 25, 2600 calories a day. Um, I do give myself one cheat meal a week and I'm kind of, if you've been following the Shred series, really restarting as of a couple weeks ago, just because I was moving across the country uh, and I was detain detained in Mexico for a little while, which was a wild one. If you haven't seen that video, that's in the Shred series. Um, I just kind of explained what I did while detained. Crazy situation, kind of just unlucky. Uh, for myself and my girlfriend but we're here now so that's <laughs> i guess that's what's important and uh yeah thank you guys for tuning in to another video also i appreciate you guys supporting the channel shopping the links uh and honestly i'm excited like i said earlier the supplements uh, that i've been using especially the last year are you know some of the best out there so it's exciting for me to be able to put you guys on to just some some good quality products that's my full day eating on a cup, but what do I know? I'm just married.